everybody, welcome to this, the 25th episode of The Lockdown. Where has time gone? Can you believe it? 25 episodes and we only started this at the beginning of lockdown level 5. <laughs> and now hello, we're ready. Hello, 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 I can't hello, believe that everybody. we're already welcome on this, level 3 and we are 25 episodes in. It's, it's a wild talk gone? but um, just Can wanted a shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for helping us get five. to over half a million rand for <laughs> our feeding really, campaign. Thank you so much for helping us uh, with our with our live stream this weekend which as you know did not go according to plan entirely but we are i mean the best part about it is that we get to do it all over again and try and get to do it right this time so very excited to have that opportunity and thank you so much to everyone who did support the live stream and who did help us we love you guys are everything thank you so much and we're going to kick start today with some very good news for our good luck cares program we've got the double up good luck cares program tonight thanks to you guys first of all this is some big news that we're announcing and we're properly announcing it tomorrow, but we thought we'd give you guys a sneak peek because you are a lockdown family and because you guys get to hear absolutely everything first. We thought we'd give you guys a little sneak peek. Firstly, we had some incredible news last week. The Valencia Institute, which is the biggest online high school international program generated out of South Africa, has decided that they're going to be partnering with us to give away one scholarship to a learner and individual who's showing great potential, great promise to have this internationally acclaimed high school degree. Um, it's wow. worth 430,000 Rand. It's a massive, massive deal, guys. And we're very excited to be able to wow. release this with them. Um, and tomorrow we're going to be putting out the press statement and announcing all the wow. details about how you can actually put forward and nominate people that you feel would be worthy of the scholarship. It's right from... Uh, standard uh, grade eight, grade eight to matric. Um, obviously, it's an interne internationally recognized high school diploma, so it's a big deal. And like I said, it's worth 430,000 rand. So if you've got somebody that you think could really benefit from this online high school program, please do stay in touch. Keep your eyes to us, peel to our social pages. We're going to be announcing it very soon. And we want to help find the perfect candidate with you and the Valencia Institute. It's a wonderful thing do this and to be able to offer some bright young person a phenomenal education um, so yeah very good news on the first first part and good luck cares we don't stop there we've got another bit of amazing news um, we have been sending off dry ingredients and food trucks to Kai Leecher to Overcome Heights to Ocean wow. View as well as to Frechrond and uh, that's all thanks to you guys and the donations that you've been assisting wow. us with we thought we'd give you a little update Front and uh, and just show you guys exactly what's been happening there. Um, so check it out. This is our feeding scheme. This is a up little update video just for you and everyone who contributed. We're driving into Overcome Heights, uh, which is one of the communities that is um, benefiting from rainbows, uh, all the donations, all the food that's been pouring in. They've got lots of community cooking stations. And we're actually just going to go visit a few of them and show you guys how these incredible women in the, in the community are literally cooking for hundreds of people in their neighborhood. Um, My name is Rahaf Letzalo. I'm working on Talani's Kitchen in Overcome Avenue. I'm feeding 350 to 400 people in our community. My name is Farida Johannes, and I'm cooking here for We Rainbow Needs, one of the project. And I'm one of the soup kitchens in the area. And I cater for um, 150 to 200 um, people here. Um, lockdown has been very difficult on us. Um, it's not easy to get support out there. We love serving the community and we just want to make sure that everybody gets a meal.
guys, just goosebumps all over. Thank you so much for helping us to facilitate these amazing women. And I have to say, for me, going into the townships and talking to them and, and speaking to the mothers that are feeding people, these are the true heroes, the people that are cooking from their homes every single day. You know, they're not just, um, they're not just donating and kind of, you know, I, I mean, obviously you guys are donating, which is wonderful, but it's also just very much about the fact that these women are in their homes cooking for their communities. And to me, just to go and experience interactions with these people and just to be able to kind of engage with them and interact with them, I feel so inspired. So um, big shout out to all those wonderful women who are cooking from their homes. 30 feeding stations through Freyfront that are currently cooking, thanks to your ingredients, and able to feed lots of people who are battling through COVID-19 and the economic fallout. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy few weeks, guys. And um, I know a lot of us are feeling a little bit down. A lot of us are feeling um, still, you know, we're trying to kind of come to terms with everything. And, you know, this is a community. So if you guys are feeling anywhere and you want to chat or you want to get in touch, two ways you can. Either send us a comment, drop us, or well, actually three ways. You can drop us a message on Instagram. Uh, or you can connect with our Lucky Ones group, the Lucky Ones. Go and join the group, and we just it's a forum. So if you've got anyone that you want to see on the show, if you've got any feelings that you want to share, you know, go on there and just talk to us. It's all about a connection. So really happy to have you guys in the family. Um, and speaking of family, our first guests uh, that we have on the lockdown tonight, a very, very, very good friend of mine um, and a phenomenal businessman, also somebody who really cares about this country and, and the betterment of this country, a very clever man. He's head of sales and marketing for a brand that's absolutely no stranger to South Africa, the top storage brand in the country, Store Age. You guys know we've worked with them for many years. Um, they're self-storage brands, so you know you can go pile your stuff and it'll be kept safe and sound and watertight, especially on a night like this when it's raining so hard. That's always a plus. And they've just launched this a very cool initiative. I'm going to chat to Chris about it. I think we're going to get him on the line. Do we have Chris on the line? Let's see if we can get him on the onto the whip him up on the Zoom room there. Chris, are you there? I think he's still on his way. Um, we might have some, do we have some, do we have some images that we can show you guys so long? Just to show you what they're up to. They're doing this really cool campaign. Uh, there we go. I think we're gonna put some, oh wait, we got Chris on the line. We just wanna show you that spotlight. Back to Chris, <laughs> that's crazy tonight. Hey girls. It must be the weather. Chris, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm so good. It's so nice to see your, see your face. It's been a long time. Well, so here's for a fair bit longer, I'm sure, than the last time you saw me. I'm probably the only person that has that cut yet. <laughs> well, you're still looking nice and, and, and dapper. Um, I like the beard too. That's kind of new, hey? <laughs> that gets there. Very cool. Chris, so tell me, you guys are doing some remarkable things with storage, and I was just hearing about how you guys are spotlighting and showcasing local businesses. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. What are you doing? How's the campaign going? Talk to me about that process. Yeah, sure. So at Storage, we've got uh, seven, 8,000 small businesses that store with us, ranging from all different types of industries. And uh, it's tough out there. I mean, my parents are in the restaurant game. I mean, it doesn't get much stuff in the restaurant game at the moment. And uh, so I've got first-hand experience of what's, what's going out on, on the ground, you know. And we, we tried, we sat in a room, uh, our collective team, and said, you know, what can we do to help our customers, you know, and help our customers at Storage? So we put together the local business spotlight, an idea being that we, we reach out to customers across the country at all of our 50 plus stores nationwide and our 30 stores in the UK and, uh, and see if we can profile them and put them onto our social platform and, and, and give them reach. You know, so we put some cash behind them, promote it, get them uh, some visibility into the local communities and uh, try to promote some of their specials and their offering. And, uh, you know, to think most of these businesses are small, Jules, so they, they're two, three operators, two, three man operators and uh, with small budgets and not a lot of cash floating around and you know going through one month with 20 or 30 percent turnover drop is 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 palatable but two or three months with no turnover is a is an absolute disaster so yeah. we're just trying to do our bits uh, to try help our, our businesses that support us through the years uh, through this uh, this crisis this is what it's all about for me this is what it's all about it's all about people coming together and and helping each other out in this time and i think what I think what Corona, the one plus about coronavirus and the pandemic that we've been experiencing um, is that we're actually learning to think a bit differently, you know, and we're learning to support local, maybe something that we should have done a long time ago, but something like this forces you to kind of focus home and spend more time at home mm. and, and reach out to your community. Have you guys, um, have you guys felt a big effect yourself on the self storage side? Has it impacted you very hard or, or have you managed to be okay through this time? 
Well, I have to say, I've probably aged five years in the, in the, in the last three months. I think we, we most of us have, you know, trying to keep things afloat. It's, uh, it's, I don't think you'll find anyone that hasn't been affected, uh, Jules. So it's, uh, it's been an interesting and tricky time for us ourselves. Um, we've, we've, we've come through okay. We've uh, luckily got a very good team on the ground across all of our stores and, um, and we've continued offering our self-storage product uh, to, to our customers. So it's not as bad as, as most people, um, but uh, it's, been, it's been tricky for sure. Sure. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys are managing to keep your chins up. And um, I think it's wonderful that you're doing the spotlight for local businesses. Tell me a little bit about... Um, Tell me a little bit about what you guys have, you know, how this whole thing is running, how it's, how, how has it all come together, whose brainchild was it? Talk to me about the initial concept about how this all came about. Yeah, so like I said a bit earlier, we've, we, we concept, uh, conceptualized the idea in our, in our marketing room, um, you know, sort of in the beginning of, of lockdown. That first week when we were all sitting looking at each other on Zoom for the first time and trying to get our Zoom etiquette uh, under control, uh, working out sound quality and everything that comes with that, we sort of said, well, what can we do to make a difference in this time when we aren't, when we aren't sitting at the office? So it was a yeah. collective idea by the team. Um, we, have, we have a few things always in our back pockets and, um, that we'd like to bring out, and, and we wanted to do something. And, and it's, as part of it, we'd like to, uh, we would have liked to have launched a campaign, and we would have launched a campaign a couple of weeks ago, but obviously been put out by COVID, where we did a local marketplace within our, within our facilities for the businesses that store there to actually promote them to each other, sort of a, a local marketplace uh, within the self-storage facilities. I mean, just to give you an idea, our stores in our store in gardens, for example, in Cape Town, or our store in Claremont that, that you guys know quite well. Yes, uh, I mean, there's 300 well. plus businesses. Yeah, yeah, there's 300 plus businesses in a store like that. Um, you know, so that use that business, uh, that facility on a day by day. I mean, they use it, they use it um, as an extension of their home where they don't have stock in their homes. They they might have a full-time day job, and and as a result, they're spending a few late nights at uh, at, at at a self-storage facility. You know, so there's a lot of businesses that store there. So what we try to do is we, we just try to find a you know, good ways to bring value to our customers and, and, and help them through uh, you know, this, this incredibly challenging time. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Chris, you've always been a very inspiring person. I know that we've had many conversations with you when we've been stuck on like, you know, anything business related and we've we reached out to you on a mentorship level quite a lot. What is your advice anyone who is maybe really just like getting overwhelmed by the feelings that they're feeling right now surrounding this mm -hmm. this crazy situation mm -hmm. or like just a key point that you maybe have learned that you can share um, that can inspire somebody out there um, to some form of positivity yeah so i mean I, I i always start with just remember you're not alone so quite often when you're sitting in a situation like this you're sitting at home and and your whole world's coming down upon you and the roof's leaking and and you know, your car, your car windows are out and your, your tires are deflated. But the reality is you're not alone. Sure. Just everyone is going through a, ver a version of this. Sure. That's, that's sort of number one. And I think it's difficult to take solace in, but it's important to take solace in the fact that you're not going through something unique. And there's a lot of people out there that are, that are going through something quite similar. Number two, you've got a network. You might yeah. not think of it as a network, but you've got a network. You've got a network of friends, family members, and a community that you operate in that's, that is there to, to assist you and for you to assist. Bringing, bringing things local and bringing closer to home is so critically important through times like these. You know, sitting down at your table and making a list of, of what resources you have available to you um, and, and also what you have available as resources. Now, now, resources might not necessarily be things like your ability to do graphic designing or, uh, or website building skills or marketing skills, whatever it might be that you can assist people with. Um, it might be mentorship. It might be um, just a shoulder to, 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 to cry on almost and um, some emotional support. Sure. It might be giving some physical assistance um, and, and helping a, a small business on the weekend. The reality is, is that COVID, the, as the crisis that it is, the real, reality is the economic out, uh, down, um, sort of outfall after this is, is going to be incredible. And, and protecting our local businesses and our local communities uh, you know, is, is of utmost importance. You know, shopping local, going to your local bakery, be it uh, up the road from your home, you know, buying stuff from your local barber. And the barbers aren't open, but buy, go buy a voucher. You would have had two haircuts if you've got a bit of disposable income. You know, go buy that voucher from your, from your local barber or, um, or your local hairdresser. Yeah. Whatever you can to try to keep uh, those businesses afloat. Um, totally. So I think that going back to the beginning of that, number two is sort of work your networks as hard as you can. Um, but not just one way, it's reciprocal and it's a two-way street, you know, given and, and it'll, it will come back to you. Um, and the, the thing is, just going back to that first one, Jules, I'm sorry for going a bit of a tangent, but 
going on the first one is a lot of people do think they're alone. So the simple thing is like putting out a WhatsApp message to a mate of yours that you haven't spoken to in six months and just saying, hey, but I'm there for you. Um, you know, if you need anything, just just give me a call. You know, just yeah. I'm here. Small things like that can really help people through through challenging challenging circumstances. And the last thing, number three, um, it, it, it's it's time to hustle. You know, if you've got if you've got eighteen hours in the day at the moment, you know, you work those eighteen hours out. It's time to time manage and say, listen, I've got eighteen hours. Maybe I'm sleeping six. Let's call it. Let's be conservative. Call it sixteen hours. And if social media social media is taking up four and a half hours, and you're not doing social media as a business, you need to reallocate <laughs> some time. So sure. it's it's important. You got to sit down and say, like, what am I allocating my time towards? Um, yeah. Because right now you need to be putting it into the important stuff. And and that's number four for me almost is saying, well, if the big reset button's been pushed, no, never before have you had an opportunity to change your life like you've got it right now. Totally. So oh, with, with some any, great whenever, advice there and some awesome words as always, Chris. Um, if we want to get hold of storage or we want to find out more about you guys and what you're up to, where is the best place that we can reach you? You can head to our website uh, for general information, pop into our live chat. Um, you can ring us on, on our, our, our share call number. It's 0861 18, 18, 18. We've got a team that can talk to you about anything from a self-storage related perspective and then just pop onto our Instagram. We, um, I think um, we've got it on. Uh, we've got the link just storage. here below. You guys can check out the, 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 the name there. Go head up, go head up storage and, um, and, and, you know, do what Chris says, do what they're doing, support local. It's so important right now. Um, and the, the smaller, the better, you know, um, your local barber, your local grocer, your local, anybody who really just could use a leg up right now. I think it's, it's, it's great advice and, and very wise words. Thank you so much for coming on to the lockdown today, Chris. It's been lovely to chat to you as Thank always. You. Have a good one. Lots of love. That was Chris Oosthuis, everyone from Storage, awesome brand that have really got behind us and got behind local businesses and are doing some wonderful, wonderful things. And we're very proud of them for, for keeping it local, keeping it good. And speaking of local people who are amazing, guys, ah, we had such an absolutely epic, epic afternoon with my favorite magician, Larry Soffer. I'm not going to tell you too much. You're just going to see what happens um, to me this afternoon. And then we're going to chat to him. But first... Are you ready to watch Jules be spellbound by the wonderful Larry Soffer on the lockdown? Hello, Larry. <laughs> hey, Jules. Nice to be here. How are you doing? I'm oh, so good. I'm so excited. We're doing this all over again. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. Thank you so it's much so for coming cool. back to the show. Yeah, and you guys have had such great success. It's so great. Well done. Thank you. It's been fun. I mean, obviously, we had you in the very beginning in the morning shows when we were doing the lockdown, and now we've got you in the evening show. So second evening show. So very, very excited to have you on board. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, let's try something with you. Yes. Um, I'm going to try a little game of intuition, and you can use your woman's intuition for this, and let's see if it works. Okay. Okay, cool. So I've got some cards over here. I don't want you to see the different colors. But I'm just going to give the pack a little bit of a shuffle. And obviously, there's red cards and there's black cards, all right? Yeah. So red cards and black cards. And we're just going to give them a good mix. So you don't know which are red and which are black. But you're going to just take a guess now, OK? So um, if you had to guess what this one is, what would you say? Red. No. <laughs> OK, 50-50, 50-50. 50, 50. Let's, let's, let's try another one. Let's try. Uh, how about this one? Red. You would have been right if you said black, but you can see it's a little bit difficult, right? Yeah. A little bit difficult. So let's, let's see if we can do this. So uh, this is where the game starts. This is how the game is going to go. All right. So just to give them a little bit of a shuffle. Okay. And you're just going to say uh, where I should put the cards. So you're going to say red or black. Okay. Uh, red. Red. Black. 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 Red. Red, okay. Black. Oh, you want a black, sorry. Yeah. Black. Okay. Red. Red, okay. Red. Black. Black. 
Okay, now we're going to uh, change the game a little bit. You're just going to say switch. So okay. do you want me to start on red or black? Black. Switch. Switch. This one over here? Uh-huh. Okay. Switch. You want this one here? Uh-huh. Switch after that one. Switch now. Did you want this one here? Or are you happy no, no, with that? That's cool. You can keep going. Keep going. Switch. And the last one? Red. You made all your own decisions. If this worked, this would be crazy, right? No, it would be ridiculous. It would be impossible. It's literally almost impossible. And yeah, no, it is. It is impossible. <laughs> what do you mean almost it is impossible? impossible. <laughs> Let's see, the first one. Red. 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 Ah. Oh. Black. Red again. Oh no! <laughs> In fact, they're all red. Ah! Larry! And this over here, you chose all these to be black no! cards. Dude, you can get this. No way. Every single no one way. of them is black. Guys, Larry, Larry, Larry is, I don't know, I can't, I don't even, I, you are so, on such another level. I can't. I want to ask well, you how, but I know you're not going to tell me. You, you <laughs> did that. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's insane. That's incredible, man. Yo. Hey? So crazy, right? It's crazy. What else can we do? So I'm going to give the pack a little bit of a shuffle. This is called the American Ripple Shuffle. Yeah. Uh, this is called the Russian Shuffle. Yeah. Oh. Because the cards are Russian from one hand into the other. <laughs> <laughs> and this is called the Hindu Shuffle because the cards go from one hand into the other. Oh, my gosh. I'll give it a few fancy cuts and uh, a few really cool ones like this. Epic. Whoopsie. <laughs> As you can see, it takes lots of practice, so we'll do that again. That's crazy, though. Yo, yeah. I want to learn that shuffle. Yeah. And finally, because I'm Jewish, the Jewish shuffle. It's called Passover. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so clever. So, uh, so we're going to try something. These, It's all 52 cards inside here. No jokers. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you had to name any card... From one to fifty-two, what would you choose? Uh, king of what? Yeah. Like the king of diamonds or the ace? Yeah, so it would be like from ace through to ten, jack to king, uh, hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. Okay, the nine of spades. Nine of spades. Yeah. Okay, you sure about that? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to give the pack one last shuffle. And right now, I want you to get a sense of where the nine of spades may be in the pack from one to 52. Okay. You can say it. 42. 42. Yeah. Are you sure? Do you want to change your mind? Yeah, 12. 12. Okay, and last chance to change your mind, no, otherwise no. you can stick with no, it. No. You're going to stick with it. Okay, 12. So here we go, Jules. One, two, three, four, nine of clubs, not nine of spades. Yeah. Nine of clubs, not nine Got of it? spades. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You could have chosen 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's none of these cards. That's a seven of spades, jack of diamonds, ace of spades, king of diamonds, seven of clubs. But you chose nine of spades and you chose 12. Yes. Impossible. Impossible. No! Oh my God, Larry. 
how and how how do you even like put things in people's heads how do you do that it's crazy right whatever you believe in you can make happen absolutely anything i think whatever you believe in you can make happen <laughs> <laughs> well you did that <laughs> oh no, dude oh you are like a you're something else larry it's so crazy i want to i'd love to do a trick with the whole crowd again Oh my gosh, guys. So that was my experience today. I mean, he just blows me away. Like he does this over the internet, over Zoom calls. It's not normal. It's, in, it's so good. He's so good. He is the renowned mentalist, our South African renowned, world renowned mentalist, Larry Soffer. And we're going to be chatting to him a little bit. Larry, are you there? Can you hear me out loud and clear? Hello. Hi, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you looking so good. Yo. Look at Great, you. Great, thanks. <laughs> well, thank you. Dude, okay, thank you. so let's just talk seriously for a second. Every time you do a, what's the word? I always get it wrong, not a trick. It's a effect, right? Effect. Yeah, I call, it, I call them effects. Effect. Yeah, because they're more mental kind of effects than sleight of hand tricks, exactly. right? Exactly. So every time you do an effect on me, I honestly, like, I don't know, my respect for you just goes up another 10 notches. It's already through the roof. And I and I, I for a second I want to know how you did it, but then I'm like, you know what? Actually, this is this is the the magic that is Larry Soffer, and I just think you're phenomenal. And we've spoken to you before in the well, lock the lockdown, and um, you've told us all about you and how you've been adjusting to this whole thing. How has it been since we last spoke? Have you been getting busier? What have you been up to? Definitely, uh, the corporate markets and and even private events are definitely warming up to the idea of virtual shows. In awesome. fact, I've been all over the world in the past two weeks to Dubai, India, San Francisco, wow. Sacramento, uh, LA, uh, all incredible. these different places in the past two And you weeks. didn't it's even have crazy. to have jet lag. <laughs> didn't Thanks. even have to have jet lag. Had to wake up some early mornings and stay awake sure. uh, till late early mornings. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, and people are really warming up to the idea, which is great. Awesome. And I think people are, are loving the idea because there's, it's, it's so interactive, even though uh, it comes across the screen or there's a screen as a barrier between us, you still get to experience the impossible happening in your home. I you know? know, it's amazing. Like you did those things today. I don't I know, know how you did that. Like we did those things today. And I was actually thinking, I don't know if we, if we can, I thought I'd put you on the spot and see if there's any way that we can do an effect with everyone watching the lockdown tonight. Is it possible? Yeah, totally. Is it? Totally. Yay! Okay, okay yeah, let's yeah, get straight sure. to it. Let's get straight to it. So what do we have to do? So um, I had a dream last night, and in my dream, uh, there was a supervillain that tried to take over the world. It was like it was the end of the world, almost like what we're experiencing right now. And uh, <laughs> I don't know who the supervillain is behind this. We could, could call him COVID or something like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, there was a superhero that came to save the day. And like in all good stories, there was love involved. And we could all do with a little bit of love right now in these moments, right? Yes. So I thought we could like ask some people to get involved with this. Somebody could choose a superhero. Somebody could choose a supervillain. But it should be a villain or a superhero that exists in a comic book already or a totally made up name. Okay. So somebody that already exists or totally made up, all right? Okay. And, uh, and then we're going to also choose a weapon. So we're going to get a supervillain, a superhero, a weapon, and the love of the superhero's life. Okay. So uh, we can get everybody at home to choose that right now. Okay. And you can let me know what the, what the guys choose. Okay. So are, you gonna, are they going to comment it in the, in the comment section? If they could comment in the comment section. So any supervillain, okay. uh, we're first going for the supervillain, then we'll go for the superhero, then the weapon that the superhero used, and then the love of the superhero's life. And it doesn't have to be somebody who already exists in a comic book story. Okay. It can be a totally made-up name. All right, so you guys you guys go ahead and, um, and write in the comment section, um, like he said, a superhero or a supervillain, right? And a supervillain. Say it again. I'm confused. So we're going to get a supervillain, we're going to get a superhero, and we're going to get a weapon. So like Thor's hammer, for example, or okay. a flaming sword I've had in the past. And must I tell you what it is? Love. That's what they're saying. Yeah, we're going to write it down over here. Okay, cool. 
Um, guys, we need comments. Come on, come on, get those fingers trigger happy. It's a little bit delayed, you know, there's always a little bit delayed. So give us a, give us a superhero, a super villain, a weapon, and a... And, and the love of the superhero's life. And the love of the superhero's life. It, m must that be a person that we all know? It doesn't have to be somebody that we all know. It can be a comic book uh, uh, hero or villain that we all know already, or it can be a totally made up name. And even the love of the superhero's life. Okay, Obviously, so we've got the love of the okay. superhero's life so I must would tell have to you. be chosen after the superhero is chosen. Okay, so we've got, we've got Spider-Man. I think that would be the superhero. Okay. Um, and the villain? villain I, we've got Darth COVID. Darth COVID, okay. Great. <laughs> Can that be made up? Darth I love COVID? Them. Okay. And yeah, then, totally. Darth um, COVID. We need a Spider Man. Guys, we need a whip we need a weapon. We need a weapon. A weapon a and, bomb. and who a is Spider Man's love that Someone's he saying a bomb. Could that be a weapon? A bomb. Yes. A B O M B. Yeah. Okay, great. We can choose that. And then the love of his life would be a Michelle Obama. <laughs> is that fine? <laughs> let's let's choose Something somebody uh, that exists in a comic book. Okay, exists or in a comic book. Somebody totally made up. Okay, somebody totally so made somebody up. Somebody that or... exists in a comic book okay, or guys, totally made up. We need somebody in a comic book or totally made up. We need a love. We need a love of the life. Can one of you give us a love of the life, or should I maybe say it? Um, maybe you should say. It. Um, okay, maybe I should say it should be, could we be, make it uh, Cinderella? Cinderella. So Spider-Man is going to save the love of his life, Cinderella. Yes, from the bomb. I think that's about that correctly. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we have Darth COVID trying to take over the world. Spider-Man came to save the day using a bomb and saving the love of his life. Mm -hmm. Cinder Cinderella. Yes, 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 exactly. This is so crazy because before I got started here today, I wrote down my dream inside my wallet. This was a dream that I had last night. It was a very crazy dream. Let me just take out my wallet here. It's a, it's a big fat wallet, so it's a little bit difficult to get out, but you can see it's nice and fat. And the reason for that is because there's an envelope inside. And inside okay. that envelope, I wrote down my dream. And you can see it's uh, all zipped up over there. Yeah. Let me just unzip it right here. No, Larry, don't freak me out now. No, no, no. no Larry, There's come an off it. envelope us. right inside. And you can see that this envelope is totally sealed with staples. Yeah. I, all I, the way around. <laughs> yes, Larry, I can see that it's totally, I can see that it's totally done with staples. I'm going to be very fair about this. Look, I'm going to tear this open like this. Yeah. Okay, Look, now what? inside is a piece of paper. Yes, I see that. This is so crazy. It says, Last night I had a dream that there was an evil villain named Darth Coven. No, God, you're joking. That tried to take over the world, <laughs> and luckily Spider Man was there to save the day. Guys. He used a secret weapon called a bomb. <laughs> he managed to save us all and save the love of his life. Oh, Cinderella. my God. Woo! Thank Larry, you very much. Stop everybody. Jeebus, dude, take a bow. <laughs> oh. Okay, is Thank any you. okay? Can we just read something? I'm sure there are people out there who are absolutely freaking out. No, everyone's doing these faces and like mind blow. No, guys, I can't actually handle it. Larry, you are. Well, I, I believe that whatever you believe in, you can make happen. And if people want to see more of this, yes, I'm talk actually to us. having. Uh, yeah, I'm having live shows every Friday and Saturday. They're virtual shows, of course, where How they can, can join me on Zoom like this and they can interact with me where I read their mind across the screen and I predict their thoughts even be before you know what you're going to think of. So I'm able to predict your thoughts before you know what you're going to think of like you've experienced here. And okay. many more exciting things happen in the show. Larry, tell me, how can we get into I'm sure everyone who's watching this is like going to be there Friday and Saturday because this is ridiculous. So cool. How can we, how can we get, is it ticketed? How do we get involved? Yeah, so all they have to do is visit LarrySoftwareLive.com. It's this Friday and Saturday, and I've got the times over here. So Friday and Saturday, it's at 8 o'clock. 
And then on Father's Day, it's at 2.30 in the afternoon. So Wonderful. Friday, Saturday, 8 o'clock South African Standard Time. Yes. Uh, Father's Day at 2.30 in the afternoon South African Standard Time. And it's LarrySofferLive.com. L-A-R-O-Y-S-O-F-F-E-R Live.com. Go and get involved. Go and support LarrySofferLive.com, guys. Really, that I mean, you are just... You are, people are just losing their, people are like crazy. They're, you know, no way, that was insane. Lisa says, that's amazing. Julian says, what, WTF, insane. Taylor says, it's insane. People are just like, no one actually believes it, I don't think. But if you want to see more of Larry, go and hit him up. LarrySofferLive.com, right? Um, grab yourself, get involved, grab, is it tickets? Can we buy tickets? How does it work? Is it, how, how do we get involved? Yeah, so, so you'll buy one ticket for the family. So yes. it's one ticket Per Zoom link, you can have as many people on your Zoom uh, link in your home with you as possible. Yeah. Uh, so you'll buy one ticket. You'll have all your uh, and, brothers and, you and sisters and whoever is is living with you. And you engage. And uh, yeah, it's a set. It's a set fee. I believe it's what is it nine fifty. It's 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 nine dollars fifty. I know it's in dollars, but we it's we've made it about hundred and forty rand or so, which is great value when you consider it's the whole family. Yeah. Very good value. Exactly. So, guys, exactly. go go and get involved with Larry. You know, you also have to be at our stream on Saturday night. So, you're only allowed to, you're allowed to, you have to watch at least one hour of good luck. Then you can head across at 8 o'clock. We'll, we'll give you half an hour of our crowd, Larry. It's fine. 8 o'clock, we'll let you, we'll let them all go across <laughs> to Larry's uh, show. And we put the link in there, LarrySofferLive.com. Yeah. Go and, guys, please and, go and get involved. Friday and, Jules, and Saturday. Sorry to interrupt, but they... They could join uh, me on Friday night, and they could join you on Saturday, or they can even join me on, on, Father's, on Father's Day, Day. at 2.30 in the afternoon. Magic, magic. Larry, you yeah. are one of my favorite people. I'm missing you at live events. I'm missing you at live shows, but I'm so happy that you're managing to bring all the, the mentalism, the illusions, the magic into people's lives still through the internet. Can, guys, can we give me one more clap for Larry? Because I think you. he's just too good. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Thanks, Larry, Jules. Stop, everybody. Thank you so much and, for entertaining us. And I miss us. you all too. And I look forward <laughs> to seeing you after the lockdown. Definitely. I really look forward to meeting up with you guys for a coffee. Yeah, you got to come hang out at our studio Thank a little you. bit. Much love, Larry. Mwah. That would be amazing. Ah, oh, guys, that is the wonderful talent of Larry Soffer. He is, he's honestly just like, just one of my favorite people, but also just one of my, one of my most inspirational people. I, I, I can't get over what he does i'd love to know how he does it but also i think it's lovely to to have the magic and the illusion and he'll ne you know he knows he to him and to, to most people mm -hmm. it's all real so now i can hear there's a little bit of trickery playing in the background we're going to kill that because i thought you know i haven't played a song for you guys for a while and if you guys tuned in on the weekend um before we get to Kurt Darren, by the way, who's coming up after this. Um, if you guys were in, in town for the week, you know, on the live stream on the weekend that uh, obviously we didn't get completely right, which we're having a nice opportunity to be able to do again. Uh, you would have seen I played this song and I tried my best to kind of get it sounding half decent. And I'm going to try and sing it again for you guys because um, I just thought it'd be nice to play it on the lockdown, you know, for our my home, my home crowd. But... Um, I'm not really in performance mode, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit in performance mode here. And uh, yeah, and, and if you guys, if you didn't manage to tune in, um, if you did manage to tune in, you're gonna be sent a free ticket, which is super cool. So you are gonna be getting a ticket in your email and we're redoing the whole thing from start to finish and you'll have a free ticket in your inbox. If you didn't manage to grab a ticket, if you still wanna get involved, you can, it's 120 Rand. Also, like Larry said, it's for the whole family. So one ticket serves the whole family. You can jump on our, um, on our on Howler and you can grab your tickets there. We've put the link also in the comment section on Facebook but I'm gonna play you guys a little snippet of one of the songs that I learned for the show and this is an acoustic version of um, a song called acoustic I wish I wrote it it's a beautiful song I didn't write it but uh, I'm gonna try play it for you and also I'm a bit nervous tonight so cut me some slack Maybe we could strip it down We could take it back to basics Maybe we control the sound We could make it wake the neighbors But baby, let's be quiet now Reach out, pull down on the faders We don't have to get so theatrical 
You know even simple can be special We don't have to get loud to lose it All we need is just me and you We don't have to scream out to prove it We could keep it all a close day ooh, 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 oh. We could keep it all a close day Let me see the real you Baby, take off all your makeup And dress me to the naked truth Till we're both uncomplicated Cause all the things I wanna do So much better when we're naked We don't have to get so theatrical you know even simple can be special We don't have to get loud to lose it All we need is just me and you We don't have to scream out to prove it We could keep it all a close day ooh, 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 ooh. We could keep it all a close day ooh, 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 ooh. We could keep it all a close day <laughs> gentle music for a Wednesday um, and it was something that I played live um, it's a song by an artist called Billy Raffle I actually don't know if he wrote it I think he might have covered it as well but anyway I just thought I'd give you my little version I've been working on that song because I'm learning guitar again through the lockdown I've been one been teaching myself is reteaching myself guitar and bar chords are not my friend so um my fingers are dying after that song i i hope you enjoyed that little dish rendition i hope it came out okay um and yeah if you guys are still wanting to get in touch with us we're going to be playing this concert we're going to be redoing it the way that we wanted to do it from the start um and uh, hopefully you guys will yeah, hopefully that you guys will join in and, and be a part of Saturday because it's going to be much bigger, much better and everything we hoped it would be on this past Saturday. And thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to to perfect it, you know. Um, who knows what will happen? Live streaming is a bit of a like a difficult thing to, to wax, um, but especially the way that we're doing these concerts. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this time around it's going to be flawless and uh, you guys will be there to experience it. Anyway, it's going to be a party. Another thing, we're opening the Zoom room not just for VIPs. It's going to be open to everyone. So it's going to be like such a party. Everyone's going to interact and engage and have drinks together and have fun and have a Gordon's gin and tonic, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, it's going to be great. So tune in the Saturday night. Um, and let me just have a look here. I'm just scrolling down. Do you guys, do you guys know who we have next on the show? Do you know? Have you got any idea? Because this man is, is completely and utterly one of my big all time South African music heroes. Um, you know, he needs no introduction at all. But I think are we are we gonna be playing? Are we gonna be playing a little song with for him? Yeah, we're gonna be playing a song. We're gonna play you a song in case you need a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, on our music station this 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 Wednesday evening on the lockdown. This is Kurt Darren live. Kan ek antal Laat ek het op die radio Ek jy wil ek En jy is my nummer 1 Jy is lief vir my en ek vir jou En saam met ons huis gebouw Ek klein begin Wat is genoeg vir nou En dis jy mal op tafel daar Daar's een engel wat langs my leeg En dis alles wat ek wil heen En ek reen in die klein garo Daar is goed op die koring lande Daar's een stilte in my gemoor En dis alles wat ek wil sien En ek reen in die klein garo Jy is my hemel Jy is my engel Jy is hier by my 
the godfather of Afrikaans music, Kurt. Where are you, my darling? Hello. You? Are you good, Jules? <laughs> Look at you standing with your Samas and your platinum albums and your plaques and, hey, are you joking with me? Look at that. These, <laughs> these aren't even platinum albums. These are just uh, things my, my wife made, put them in frames, just oh. to remind me of all the albums I've done. Yeah. Oh, man, it's beautiful. You've had an incredible career, man. You've, had, you've been going since, when was your first album released? Was it, I, it's since 95, has it been? Has it been that long? Yeah, it was for your precious love, 1995. 1995. Can I just say... And I was 25 then. For somebody who's been in the music industry since 1995, you have the most incredible personality. I, I, we've been on tours with you. We've, we've shared stages with you. We've got to know you a little bit. And you are... Okay, first of all, I just have to tell you a little secret. You're one of Ben's favorite musicians ever. He loves you very much. And uh, Ben Thanks, is clapping ben. for himself there. And, and um, yeah, you, you just managed to stay so grounded and so approachable and so real. What's your secret to that? Um, probably my upbringing, the people I surround myself with. I, I kind of surround myself with just great people and positive people as much as I can. Yeah. You know, in the industry, you meet lots of different kinds of people, I suppose. And yeah. um, I've just always managed to do that, you know, and they keep me grounded, all the people around me. At the moment, my wife and my kids, I mean, it's the most amazing time. Yeah. Lockdown isn't great for anyone, but uh, spending time with my wife and my kids is great. It's a bonus. And uh, I suppose I've just, yeah, you know, just all my great friends. Wonderful. So, you, I mean, you mentioned lockdown. You are one of the many musicians that would have been affected in a, you know, in quite a big way, and you've had to adjust, like we all have. Um, so, spending time with family. I mean, like you said, I just, you know, just touch a bit more on that for me. It's, you know, I suppose being on tour all the time. You don't really, you want to spend time with family, but you just also have to provide and you're busy and then suddenly you're home for this period. How has, you know, what have you guys been up to? Like, how's it felt? What have you been doing as a family? Um, yeah, crazy things. I started mountain biking. So my wife started with me. We ride in the forest. We're gonna, can we come with uh, you? We're big mountain bikers. 
100 percent i love it absolutely so for the last two and a half months i've always had a mountain bike but i, I didn't even ride it when i lived in cape town and now that i'm back in victoria i just ride it all the time oh no you're back in victoria now oh no that's a bit far fast. i'm back in victoria now <laughs> Yeah. That's but we'll make far. a plan. We'll, make, we'll a plan. make a plan. As soon as you can, as soon as maybe we'll come. We're on e-bike, so we can always cycle up to you from Cape Town. It's no sweat, you know. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, Other than that, I've got two beautiful kids, uh, three and five years old. Yeah. A boy and a girl. So we've been spending a lot of time with them. Got a nice big yard outside, so we've been playing a lot of games with them and just having fun, you know. Just, uh, but you know, lockdown does get to you. Yeah. And uh, you create, you create all the time, which I do, and I'm creating all the time in a little studio. Dude, but, you've been you've been you've been you creating kind of a lot. Over it. You've been creating a lot. I mean, talk to me about your new album, Pateki Dear, brand new album just released. Talk to me about it. Yeah, so Pateki Dear uh, was re released in December, um, and uh, it's been going really well with the album. Um, and after Pateki Dear was released, I came across another song yeah. called uh, that we that we we we, we, we called Party Tate. Party Tate, and we released that about. Just before lockdown, the worst time to release party <laughs> state ever, yeah. which is party time, you know. Uh, but they do is party animals. Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, so you like wrong uh, titles in this time. No, no idea. So, but, but you know what? On the other hand, on the other hand, people do need music to keep them positive and keep them happy and. And I know what you mean. I mean, we actually held back a release. We had a release called Rum and Cola that was set to release like two weeks into lockdown where no one was allowed to have a single drop of anything, you know. So uh, we were like, oh, we hold that one back for a bit. But, um, but you know, I think on the other hand, we, we actually ended up just releasing it eventually, even though it was lockdown, because people do need to have fun. You know, they need something to lift their spirits, even if they can't go of out. Of course. Yeah. You know, and everyone's doing uh, all these little group things on and Zoom and whatever yes. on... Yes. on their phones so you kind of keep in contact with that kind of stuff and i know the guys are having fun out there and you know it's not going to last forever and i'm sure you're going to be back on the stage soon we were able to party along with people doing those songs i, I hope I'm, so I, I completed another album as well what? during lockdown what something i'll be working on for a while and it's actually such a cool album i uh, started recording it years ago we just decided to finish and master and mix and everything we're so yeah. proud of it and it's coming out in about two weeks' time. Uh, what, what is that? And it's a oh, massive sorry. surprise. Okay. It's called the South African Songbook. The South African Songbook. Okay, so you're not going to tell me too Which, much about that now. Or ca can you elaborate a bit? I recorded with the Soweto Gospel Choir. Oh, are you kidding me? That yeah, so we took is Vulin, insane. Vul Vulin Lela, Weeping, Special <sighs> Star, uh, MP... Um, pata Pata, everything, and we did it oh. together, and it's the most amazing, amazing album. Goosebumps, Kurt, that so is, that's yeah. insane, oh my gosh, so that's coming out in two weeks' time. It's coming out in about two weeks' time, yeah. Incredible stuff, well, you guys have a look, it's called, story, was it called Storybook, Songbook? The South African Songbook. The South African Songbook. Kurt Darren, guys, go and check it out. That is going to be out in two weeks. But also, keep supporting his other album as well. Even, you know, you can still party on Zoom, like he says. Um, Partake it, dude. Go yeah. and get it and listen to it and support local music. You've got lots of fans tuned in here tonight. Um, Lisa uh, awesome. Bronkost says hello. Um, and Anushka King is wishing you well. You've got some fans tuning in from the UK as well. Um, Natalie is, uh, is tuning in. Natalie Boma says, please tell Kurt that I say a big hello from England. Um, and lots of comments and people just saying how much they love you and they love your voice so keep uh, keep up that south african that yes that south african about you that's so wonderful we're really proud of you no you. thank you thank <laughs> you so much i miss touring overseas i miss yeah again no no I, ben's just shouting from the background you miss touring overseas no i just miss touring overseas i know natalie i know uh, all my friends from overseas you know in england and in holland and whatever i just miss touring there but I'm sure it'll also start happening next year again. I was going to be, uh, I was supposed to be on Holland tour now. So yeah, um, that'll happen again, you know, Soon. but um, we just, uh, you know, everyone's in kind of in the same boat. So it's funny sailor and just uh, make the funny sailor. <laughs> Fast bait. <laughs> Fast bait. Fast bait. Um, Kurt, uh, just uh, quickly before we wrap up, you've also done what we've been doing. And I know we're going to be announcing pretty soon that we might even have, like uh, get lucky streaming series uh you've been having to navigate you've been having to figure all the stuff out 
concert coming up this weekend as well. Tell us about your live streaming concert on Saturday. Yeah, so um, you know, I've been doing I've been doing a few of the online shows. I kind of choose what I want to do. I don't want to do everything because you know people tune in and listen from all over. It's not like just going and singing in a Durban or in a Cape Town kind sure. of thing. So you've got to just kind of be specific with what yeah, you choose. Exactly. And this weekend I'm doing an unblay concert, which means um, uh, people can uh, buy tickets, a copy ticket for 75 rand. Brilliant. They can jump in there, and it's called Kurt Darren Non Stop Party, and it's on Saturday night cool. at seven o'clock. Cool, that's yeah. epic. So if you guys are loving Kurt Darren, please go check that out. We're also going to be announcing at some point, potentially, that you might be on one of the later dates of the Get Lucky Streaming Series, but I'm not going to give too much away about that just yet until it's all until it's all re set and ready for announcement. But um, I love that you are still managing to perform for your fans. That's a beautiful, wonderful thing. And if we want to find you on social media, where can we hit Where can we hit you up? Where can we get you? Yeah, it's on Instagram. I'm on uh, Kurt Darren. I think I've got a Kurt Darren musician page. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook's under Kurt Darren, and uh, obviously uh, Instagram, Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I was on for years on Twitter, and then I stopped <laughs> about a year and a half ago. Why? Probably they froze my account. My account just froze. I don't know. Uh, I got like I don't, not a lot of people. I got like ninety thousand people on Twitter, and it's it just not froze. A lot. It's, it's just a couple. My... <laughs> but I, I haven't been able to use my Twitter for a year and a half, so it's always been there. And uh, I've just been out of Twitter. So I just decided, actually, the night before last, get back onto Twitter, just have a duel. So now you can find me. I've got zero followers. Okay. Zero. Zero. Can I, I'll be your first one. <laughs> Thank you, please. It'll be awesome. I'll follow On you Twitter. straight back. Yeah, what is On it? On Twitter, and it's called Kurt Darren 9. That is my official Kurt, Twitter. Kurt, I'm going to write nine. it here. Kurt Darren, and then 9, the number 9. The number nine. Okay, cool. For what reason, I don't know. It's one they allocated to. That is so cool. That's 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 a war, some war story, man. I love that. Kurt Darren nine on Twitter, guys. Go hit him up. Um, Kurt, thank you so much for your continued uh, legacy in this country and your continued uh, just everything that you put into South African music. One of the icons, and we we really love your stuff and love. Just your personality, you are fun and you really are an awesome guy to be around on and off the stage. You're great to your fans. Thank you so much for everything that you do. African music. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone that tuned in and all the loyal people out there. Thank you. Good luck for yeah. giving us this platform. You know, I think it's amazing and I hope to be on your your good luck lockdown show. <laughs> Very soon. Pretty soon. Now Ben has Ben has been uh, screaming in the background because he's he saw your green screen now. He's like, tell Kurt I want to up that production tenfold. He's ready for you. <laughs> he's ready for you. It's something we shot. It's something we shot very live. Okay. Uh, just an LED, LED screen in the background. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Well, anyway, Ben wants to do something. He's got some his tricks up his sleeve. He's excited to work with you. So, um, Kurt, just Benjamin, sending you. Benjamin, I'm waiting for you, my bad. <laughs> just sending you so many big hugs from Cape Town and to your family, and enjoy the rest of the week. Have a great show this weekend, um, guys. Go check him out. Go support, and go and. Check him out on all the socials of media, including Twitter now, Kurt Darren 9. Be one of the first 10 people to follow him. That'll be something to claim, claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. Mwah. You guys are champs. Thanks, Jules. Keep Bye. safe. Yes, babe. Oh, man, that is Kurt Darren, the legend, the wonderful man. Um, guys, before we go, we just want to remind you of a couple things. You've been so cool to have you. Thank you to everyone who's commented. There's just been so many people engaging tonight. It's been wonderful to see you commenting and, and, and getting involved. We're going to be back here next week, Wednesday night again. Same time, same place, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock with a bumper lineup for you. Uh, between now and then, if you want to get in touch with Good Luck, you must, you must, you must tune into our concert. We're going 2.0. We're going to get it completely right for you guys. Um, and if you want to get in touch with us or find out how, the con how you can get tickets to the concert, it's really simple. It's um, um, I think it, we've put the link in the, it's bit.ly, right oh, it's on the screen right now. The link is on the screen right now, just in the bottom there. So go and grab yourself tickets, just copy those words, grab yourself a ticket. And um, lastly, if you don't know what you're missing out on, we'll give you a little sneak peek. This is some snippets from, from last week, but trust me, this week's going to be amazing. So check it out. This is our little Get Lucky Streaming 2.0.
Let's have a let's have a technical let's have a technical error about a show that had a technical error <laughs> and just Kurt Jaren just ninja bombed us there a little bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, if you are wanting to still support our charity, we've got our backer buddy page. Please go and donate. We're still feeding people. We're still sending truckloads of food into the townships every single week, uh, both fresh ingredients from the farms as well as dry ingredients. And we are also um, not only we're we doing that, we are supporting our initiative as well this weekend. So fifteen of all the ticket sale money is also going back into that feeding program and the rest of it is going towards paying for everybody who's here on site we've got technical crew um, a lot of people barmen people that are literally not working at the moment that we're trying to support uh, our people you know we're trying to get them through this next phase so if you could help us by buying a ticket to our event this Sunday, Saturday we'd be very grateful to you guys listen thank you so much for tuning in tonight it's been an absolute honor to be here with you you guys have been awesome till next time stay tuned to the lockdown stay involved everybody love everybody Everybody, look after yourselves, look after each other. Good night and good luck.